Good morning, this is Shayla from My Cardstock Creations, and this is Welcome to My Craft Table, Episode 4. And this is when I do some really um, fun things and quick projects. And today, I am going to show you how, whoops, how I created this little banner clip. Um, I had made one before and I had posted on Facebook and I had a lot of nice comments and things. So I decided I was going to do a craft episode and show you how I made this. So these, um, this is a pen and I bought a whole bag of all kinds of old sewing things and, um, there was a lot of things, different things, like, uh, I don't know, um, bias tape, oh, pins, needles, a whole bunch of st stuff, button snaps. It's a huge bag, and I found it for a few dollars at a restore here where I live. And these pins, they to me, they look really old. I'm not sure how old they are, but you can tell by the color of them they got some patina to them and I actually had two bags and I'm not sure how many I would say maybe 50 to a bag <clears throat> I'm not positive that's how many's in them because it didn't have a top on them but I decided I wanted to make some banners <clears throat> that you can attach to a journal or give them just as they are and they can put them in their own journal and so I'm going to show you how I created this one. So before we go ahead and start creating them, I want you, you know, if you're using a pen, um, when you open the pen, make sure this part of the pen is facing up. You don't want to create your banner on this because you want the person, if you, if you give it to someone, to be able to unpin it and repin it where they want it. If you put the banner on that side, it will be more difficult. So make sure you're on the opposite end of the opening. And this project is also good, if you don't already know, some paper clips. You can do the same idea with the paper clip. Um, but that can be for another episode. So all you do is gather things that you want. You can choose your theme and this is actually from a movie. I, I Someone had given me this whole bag of uh, movie, old fashioned movie pictures and things. That's where I got this image and I actually cut it out and this, the kiss was actually on it too. I cut that out and I just added paper flower and some gems and some um, burlap behind it and a little ribbon here and just a piece of coffee dyed paper. So you can use just about anything you'd like. So I still have some of this coffee dyed paper and as you can see I just toured the edge and I'm going to try to make this a little bit straighter. That doesn't look bad. And you kind of measure your paper, how big you want it. So I think right about there is good. And it, whatever size you like, however, the length, you can go as long as a book page. It, it really doesn't matter. It's up to you. So that looks about right for me. And what I did is just take my ink and I just went around the edges a little. Nothing fancy. And you can do the other side too if you like. Just like that. Not too hard. Okay, so now you make sure that you have your pin open so you know which side you're going to glue. So now I'm going to glue this to my pin. And what I do, I just fold over about maybe a quarter of an inch, just like that. 
and I put I put it on the pin to see if it's a good size. You don't want to be blocking the hole where this is going. So I'm going to turn it over and all I'm going to do is just add a little glue and I'm just using some tacky glue. Just a little Glue that down just like that. So that's the first step. Um, let's see. I have two types of burlap. Oops. This you can find at the Dollar Tree, and it comes in several different colors. This someone had given me a big roll of it i can't even remember where i got it but you can use burlap you can use paper you can use whatever you like but i like the look of the burlap so i'm just gonna eyeball and cut off a little piece as much as i think i want and then i'm just gonna pull off to fray it a little just like that and I'm gonna glue this down first you don't have to use burlap and in fact I think I'm gonna make my burlap hang off a little bit on this one so what I do I just put some glue where I'd, I'd like the burlap to be and then I just stick it down and just tap it with your fingers All right, so now i got to decide, I'm going to shut this for now because I don't want to stick myself, what I would like to add to it. And let me see what I have in my little box here. You know, this time I saw someone do this to a book page. Or something, I forgot exactly what it was, but they added. I wonder if this is too big. Hmm, they added a zipper. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trim. I don't know if this is going to work the way I want to, it to look. So, I'm just going to trim off the top. That was a lousy cut. I think I'm going to cut it, use my biggest scissors and cut it down. And I think I'm going to open the zipper just a little, just to give it some character. And I think I'm going to glue this down like this. I think I'm going to cut a little bit more off. Now I like that. Alright, so I'm just going to put some glue to the back of the zipper. And glue that down where I'd like it. Tim Holtz before. You can get the, the bag of Tim Holtz at, <clears throat> some, at Hobby Lobby and Michael's actually if you're lucky enough to find them. At Hobby Lobby where I live I couldn't find them and then I'm like what? Where are they? And then I happened to look up and where all the Tim Holtz things are and it was on the top shelf. I'm like really? Right, so I think I'm gonna put her there so I always like to ink my edges 
So I'm just going to go around and lightly ink. Make sure that's out. And maybe just, just give it a little aged look. And I think I'm going to glue her down right there. Now when I'm, oh, I did my zipper actually glue to the paper. <clears throat> when I do my projects, I really don't think about it before I start doing it. That would just make me crazy. So I just go with the flow. That's what I say. Go with the flow. And I create as I go along. Because you can drive yourself nuts trying to think of something to do. Alright, so now I have these cute little tags that someone also gave me. And I think I'm going to tie off the bottom a little. Just like that. And I think I may cut off some too long and I think I'm gonna just lay that down and kind of ink it to age the look a bit I think I'm gonna put this here and I think I'm gonna take now, I'm just taking a, a little black pen, and I'm just going to make a couple little dots here and there. Something like that. Sorry if I moved out. Now, I guess I'll add that. Layering. I've been learning more and more about layering. I use, my things used to be so one dimensional and I'm learning my trying my best to learn how to do things with, by layering um, so now I have these word things and I think one is calling out to me right now so warm I think I'm just going to lay this here, just like that. And then, what did I do with those flowers? I had these little paper flowers. I had them earlier. What did I do with them? Uh, did I put them away? I think I put them away. Oops. Alright, so I guess i got to do another idea. Um, move this out of the way. So I, I want to put like a flower or something here. So let me see what I can come up with. Um, I actually have this pin. Oh, you know what? The other day, if I can find it, I have found it. Alrighty. This little button thing, I don't know if it's actually a button, but I actually found this. Hmm. I guess that looks alright there. Uh, and I am going to use a piece of double-sided foam tape. And this foam tape here I found at the Dollar Tree. It's thinner than the original Oops. foam tape. But it works just as good. In fact, I think it's even stronger. So I cut a little piece off and then I fold it in half. Just to give this, so I guess I'm just going to stick that right there. Alright, and I don't know, to me it seems, uh, 
uh, do we want to add anything else to, to it? Oh, do I want to say, okay, I think it's done. And I think I still want a little something, so maybe... Graphic 45. Oh, here we go. Maybe something like this. Oops. Let me trim some of this. This is like a movie reel. I'm gonna ink. Put some ink. Excuse me. And before I glue it, I'm just gonna lay this down. All right. So you know what? I think I'm gonna lift up that word. Oops. I'm gonna glue that down just like that. And then I think I am going to add some glue to the back of this sentiment thing because it I was able to take it right off and I don't want it to fall off. Alright, so I think I'm done. And there you have it, a cute little banner. And let it dry and then you can add it to a journal or you can give it away in your swaps. But there you have it. Um... I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know so I can continue making these. If no one's really enjoying my short little videos, then there's no reason to continue making them. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, any questions or comments, feel free to add them below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And you enjoy your day.